Welcome back everyone to Game Zone Bird Room. Game Zone. Hello. Game Zone. And of course, it's not the Game Zone bird room without my birds. That's Betsy, that is. Crying because her mummies went out. Bless her. Such a good boy, eh? Let's see. Look, bless her. She's so sad because mummy's out. Ain't you, baby? Oh, bless you. Right, look at that little face. Ted. Such a good boy. What have we got for you today, guys? Well, I've got the next episode into the games I want for my Sega Dreamcast. Let's whack this bad boy in the console and see what's on it. What delights have we got on this disc? This is Dream On Volume 3. I think. Yeah, see, there we go. I was right. So remember, I'm not going to play games I already got. So Dynamite Cop, you're out. I will show that. Got Formula 1. Buggy Heat, I haven't got. Soul Calibur, I haven't got. So, let's try the playable demo disc first. Buggy Heat. I do like 4x4 games. Oh. Big fan of 4x4 on the Sega Saturn and Monster Truck on the PlayStation 1. Both terrific games they were. I don't remember playing this. That's why I'm going through these demo discs. I just do not remember these games. I like the graphics though, on the, uh, the vehicle. Let's go with automatic. So just the one track to select. And looks to be just the one lap. Let's make this count. Three, Must say though, it looks the part. It's got Sega written all over it. The, the, the blue skies. Blue, blue skies I see. There we go. A little bit of a rendition of Daytona USA there for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I say that I like, I, I, I like the feel of the car. Reminds me a bit of the, the original Sega Rally, if I'm to be honest. Graphically, it looks superb. I yeah, wouldn't mind getting this game. Big jumps. Even the background looks quite nice. Got the palm trees, all the sort of hotels, nice beach and sea in the background. And there we go. What's that time? 101. It's not bad. Quite pleased with that. Let's have a look at that fine performance. So I could just pick up games and play them so well. <laughs> no joking. Terrible games. After this replay, we'll try out that other car to see if there's any feel to it that's different. I like the weight of the buggy though, it's went around the corners quite nicely. Around. 
the finish line. Look at that. New record. New record as well. Oh, it's a lovely pink car. Matches the colour of my beautiful eyes. This is the car my missus would pick if she was to play this game. She really would. Oh, it's a bit wide. The car definitely hurt. Uh, the vehicle definitely. I like that. The, the boots came over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that definitely feels heavier than the, uh, the buggy. Which is quite nice. It gives you a different feel when, when uh, you play racing, races cars don't feel the same, you know, they, they, they feel very different from one another, so that's nice to see. Yeah, this is a proper Sega arcade game, this is. I really, really am enjoying this. Pick this game up. It's quite an early title as well. I really do like the way the boot came open. Right, on to the next one. So let's go for NFL Blitz 2000. Not really a big lover of American football. Never been really interested in the games or anything, so this probably is not going to be my cup of tea. And the fact that it's only a movie, you can't really give uh, get a good sense of how the game plays. And the movie quality is quite poor, I do apologise for that. I mean, it's pretty fluid though. Nice fidelity about it. This looks to be more sort of a uh, arcadey. This version from the 2K games that you see on uh, the Dreamcast, which were more sort of uh, going for that sim type. It's definitely a lot more arcadey, especially with the balls on fire, which are, is quite a nice touch. So I probably, would probably play this version, but yeah, I don't think I would add it to the collection. And now next up is one of the best looking games for the Sega Dreamcast. This is what Virtual Fighter 3 TV should have been. It should have been this, uh, the, the showcase of what the Dreamcast could do. But unluckily it was it wasn't a bad port. I mean the game looked very well, it just looked it just looked outdated when you compare the two because they were both launch titles for the UK market. And when you compare the two of them it's night and day the Soul Calibur is just such a polished, beautiful game it really is lighting effect the character models it's just glorious the movement of the clothes it's just it really is just a stunning game and i really don't know why it's not in my collection to tell you the truth i do like my weapon based games i've got last box for the sega Saturn and uh, Golden Axe, the Jewel, which are both we weapon based games and they are both brilliant. So this will definitely be right up my, uh, right up my street. I mean, I mean look at the kicks as well, it is just so fluid, animation so fluid. Yeah, this really does need to uh, 
be added to my collection. And it goes fairly cheap as well. It's not a particularly expensive game. Right, back to my boat race. That brings us to the end of another games I want for my Sega Saturn demo discs. Oh, and final conclusion, Buggy Heat. What a game. Really want that part of my collection. Uh, really enjoyed that. You know, it played very similar to the original Sega Rally. Uh, it was nice that the two cars I tried on the games uh, both felt very different. You know, the, the, the heavy vehicle felt heavy when moving it around the track. Uh, graphics were beautiful that, that true sega feel to it you know bright colorful graph graphics and yeah really really enjoyed it uh nfl blitz 2000 not a big lover of football uh the american football style games don't really understand it to be honest but you know what i could tell from the video it uh looked superb you know nice graphics uh, but yeah, probably probably won't get that. It's not really my cup of tea. And Soul Calibur, what can I say about that game that's not already been said about it? Should have been the... It's what Virtual Fighter 3 TV should have been for the Dreamcast. It's that showcase game, you know. The, the graphics of Soul Calibur is just out of this world. Uh, it's so fluid. Uh, looks... I mean, it still looks stunning to this day. It really is a great, great game. And I don't know why it's not in my collection already. I like weapon-based games, as you know, from... Uh, what's it called for the Sega Saturn? Uh, Last Bronx. And, uh, yeah, Soul Calibur is a terrific game. Needs to be in my collection. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, guys, you know what to do. Button bash that like. Subscribe. Hit that little bell and take it easy. Game Soul.